Well, hello everyone and welcome to our LifeWave Product Connect here in January. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. We're so excited that you took the time and chose to join us and we have another great uh, webinar uh, scheduled for today. So uh, without further ado, I would love to bring on our CEO, founder, and inventor of LifeWave Technology, David. Uh, David, are you are you here with us? Hey, Jeff. According, I'm, of course, I'm here. <laughs> well, very good. So, David, before we before we dive in today, um, <clears throat> we are just a, a few short days, uh, a week or so away from our big event here in January, Vision. And um, hopefully, everyone on this call is is signed up for that. But if not, um, what would you tell them? Why why do they need to be there with us? Oh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, first of all, we're kicking off our 20th anniversary and vision is going to be an opportunity to look back over the last 20 years and some of the things that have happened in lightweight history that have brought us to where we are today. And then very importantly, uh, vision is going to help set the pace for what's coming, uh, in the next year and, uh, how that's going to culminate in a number of very important events. And uh, we'll also be talking about a product launch, which yeah. will get people really excited uh, for what that is, what that's all about, and uh, and hearing what's in store the rest of the year. So it's going to be an incredible event, and people need to be there. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really really excited because I know that you you have some really fun announcements. You mentioned the new product. We won't share what it is, but uh, some really really yep. good stuff. Uh, really good stuff coming, and uh, definitely worth it. So if you are not currently signed up uh if you're not currently attending uh please do so and and david as always you're going to be doing some phenomenal product training um which will be like life wave connect on steroids there's hours of content so uh some very very good things well well good uh well anything else david before we get started into the content today yeah no first of all i think what i'd like to do is take the opportunity to uh wish everyone a uh, happy new year and uh, very much looking forward to the year ahead. And also want to thank everyone for making 2023 uh, the biggest year in the history of Lightweight. Uh, it, it was absolutely extraordinary, the growth that we had. Um, we exceeded all of the projections that we had for the year. And none of those things would have happened without our leaders and without our brand partners. So it's uh, really important that we take a moment and uh, give thanks and show appreciation for all the hard work uh, that our brand par partners around the world did to make uh, 2023 so successful. And of course, uh, this year has gotten off to an amazing start. So uh, really uh, just want to say thank you to all of our brand partners around the world. That's amazing, and I'll join you in that in that gratitude as well. It's it's such an amazing combination when you have, you know, such incredible people who are doing such big things, and then you also have a, you know, such a unique product uh, that is 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 effective and does what it says it does, and um, the combination of those two have, have really led to to magic. I mean, it's it's been an incredible incredible year, and uh, looking forward to big things this year as well. So, of course, a lot of that was led by the sale of our uh, hero product, X39, David. And uh, along with X39, you know, when you talk about the 20 years, there's a really neat connection for me today on this LifeWave Connect because the first product that LifeWave came out with was Energy Enhancer. That was kind of the the, the, the beginning of it. And then X39 has really been now the, the hero product that has helped to get us where we are. And today we have the privilege of being able to talk about both of those together. Right. Absolutely. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, before I share screen, um, I think the first thing uh, to set the pace of this webinar today is uh, we're going to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane, and we're going to be talking about uh, going way back into the beginning of LifeWave with Energy Enhancer and why uh, all of that early research and everything that was learned about Energy Enhancer still applies today. And it's very important to understand this information relative to X39 and how people can get the best benefits 
out of both of these products and why you would want to use uh, both of these products together. Uh, still, after more than 20 years now, I still use Energy Enhancer daily, and there's some good reasons for it. So let's get into it. Now, one of the places uh, that I wanted to start today was to talk about Coach Richard Quick. Uh, at the beginning of LifeWave, so I started the company in 2002, and we went to market in November of 2004. And that's why uh, this is coming up on our 20th anniversary. So I was privileged to meet Coach Richard Quick at Stanford University. Richard was an amazing human being. He had uh, actually 13 NCAA Division I championships, and he was a six-time United States Olympic coach. Really extraordinary achievement, achievements in his life. And Richard wanted to stay on the cutting edge, uh, but he also wanted to make sure that everything that he was doing was going to support the health and the well-being of his athletes. So he would never take a chance with their health. And uh, Richard used and introduced the LifeWay patches to uh, his swim team in 2003-2004. Uh, and it was in July of 2004 uh, that he had his Stanford women's swim team using the patches at the Olympic trials in Southern California. And that got national attention uh, in the United States. And uh, that was the early impetus for LifeWave taking off. Uh, you can see it wasn't too long after that that Richard decided to retire and uh, he came on board LifeWave as our athletic director and helped promote LifeWave for many years. So first in looking back, uh, I want to just give, uh, just say an enormous thanks to Richard Quick. It was a privilege to know him and, uh, and he played such an important role in the beginning of LifeWave. Now, not surprisingly, many athletes around the world began using uh, LifeWave patches, and it was so funny in those early days and so rewarding to see where the patches were going to be showing up. Uh, Michael Phelps, he was photographed wearing LifeWave patches, of course, he never endorsed LifeWave. Uh, Phil Pfister, uh, world's strongest man, was after he won the world's strongest man championship, he ripped off his shirt and there were life weight patches up on his chest. David Beckham, when he was at Real Madrid, he was at practice, shown photograph, wearing life weight patches. And by the way, this picture down over here, uh, that was the first time I ever appeared in a newspaper and I made the front page of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Uh, this was during the Olympic trials in 2004. So why were so many athletes interested in LifeWave? And why were they getting results and, uh, and sharing it with others? Well, let's take a look at that. We're going to go back now and look at some of the early studies that we did on the energy patches. Now, one of the studies uh, we're going to talk about was performed by uh, Dr. Tom Budzinski and Dr. Helen Budzinski. And uh, Dr. Tom Budzinski was very well known and extremely well respected in the area of uh, biofeedback and he did this study 
using a um, acuscope to measure uh, tissue conductivity. And the results of this uh, study, I'll scroll down here. And, and by the way, uh, these studies are all in your back office. If you go to resources, you can find these studies. So this study found that indeed LifeWay patches do serve as a stimulus for the actions for which they were developed. Okay, as a photonic communicator for specific frequencies. And uh, what this ends up doing is, as you'll read the study, is it improves the flow of energy through the body. Okay, so this is uh, an important finding because it means that when you wear the energy patches, it'll improve tissue conductivity, which can be applied to pain relief. And it's going to improve the flow of energy through the meridians. So this is going to uh, be important for overall health uh, and as well as the health of the nervous system. And of course, obviously in athletic performance. So anyone can benefit. Now we're going to skip ahead to the study that was done by Dr. Homer Nazaran, a biomedical engineer at the University of Texas in El Paso. And we've actually done quite a few clinical studies over the years using heart rate variability as a diagnostic technique. And what was interesting here, oh, and by the way, heart rate variability is a measure of the uh, ratio of muscle contractions in the four chambers of the heart. So if there's any irregularities with the heart, that will show up in heart rate variability. So what's interesting here uh, is that the results demonstrate that LifeWave energy patches have significant and clearly distinguishable effects important for HRV. Uh, and again, uh, you can read through the study. Uh, but this is showing through an entirely different diagnostic technique that when the patches are applied to the body, it has a beneficial effect on the muscle contractions and the health of the heart. This was a separate study, uh, again, done by Dr. Tom Budzinski and Alan Budzinski, but also Dr. Carl Narrett who is a very well-known medical doctor, uh, biomedical engineer. And in this study uh, done, it was uh, double-blind, placebo-controlled. And again, conclusion, these results suggested that the energy patches appear to act on the autonomic cardiovascular factors, influencing heart rate variability. And uh, some of the conclusions that they reach in this uh, study are extremely interesting in terms of the patches use for managing stress. So this leads to a question then, how are the patches producing these really diverse effects? Um, as many of you will remember, the patches were originally designed to improve athletic performance and to do this by increasing fat burning. Of course, we get more energy from burning fat than we do from burning carbohydrates. So we did a study uh, with Dr. Frank Schallenberger. Uh, many of you may recognize his name. He is an expert on alternative cancer therapies. And he is the world expert, one of the world authorities on ozone therapy, uh, which I often recommend. So I had met Dr. Schallenberger at a trade show. I asked him uh, since he was uh, doing metabolic testing, could we hire him to do a clinical study, uh, which he agreed to do. He didn't think that the patches would work. Uh, but 
application of lightweight energy enhancer patches produced a significant increase in maximum aerobic ATP, maximum ATP from fatty acid metabolism. So lightweight energy enhancer patches significant metabolic effects which confirm the manufacturer's claim. So here we have a diagnostic technique that's going to show how the patches work biochemically. And we have these other studies which are showing how the patches work bioelectrically. So these are very valuable pieces of information to help us understand not only how the patches are working, but what the potential of the technology is. So let's go into this now in a little bit more detail. And where we want to start with this is the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It's the engine of the cell. And it's where our body is going to convert fats and carbohydrates over into energy and make the universal molecule of energy, ATP. And here is a look at the mitochondria inside your cells. Um, one thing I might recommend is uh, going to this uh, web page because they have a very nice animation of the mitochondria and its function. And you can see here, it's at the National Human Genome Research Institute. Uh, but the important thing here is that we're identifying that the patches increase ATP production, and this is done in the mitochondria. Okay, let's understand this down another level. Now, what is ATP? Uh, there's first a precursor molecule called ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and then ATP is adenosine triphosphate. We're not going to get too burdened down with biochemistry here, so uh, you don't have to stress about that. What's important to know is that your body basically extracts uh, electrons from the food you eat and uses those electrons to turn ADP into ATP so that ATP can share the electrons with other reactions in the body. So here, ATP is formed through the process of cellular respiration in the mitochondria of the cell. And this can be done through aerobic respiration, which requires oxygen and so forth. So, why is this all important? Because uh, if we have a technology that can increase ATP, we have something that can mitigate the effects of aging. As we age, our body decreases its production of ATP. So we can reverse that and we can increase ATP production. Now we have found a way to defeat one of the problems that human beings face in aging. Question is, how are the patches really doing this? Because if we can understand this secret, it opens up an entire universe of possibilities. So let's go down another level and look at this again. So in order to understand this, how does the mitochondria make ATP? How are we converting our food to ATP? And where do the lightweight patches fit in, uh, both Energy Enhancer and X39? Uh, we want to look at something called the electron transport chain. And again, if you simply uh, want to Google this, you can find any number of different good sources on the internet for this. But you'll come up with a 
diagram on uh, the electron transport chain, and you'll see that it's broken down into several different stages. And by the time we get to the end, we get ATP. So here we get our ADP converting over to ATP. In the very end uh, of the chain at stage four, or phase four, uh, we have this molecule here called cytochrome C oxidase. Uh, one thing interesting is that cytochrome C oxidase is a uh, copper compound. Now, of course, we recommend people take a copper supplement uh, to help support their body's levels of GHKCU and AHKCU. Um, we also recommend taking copper supplements because it will act as an antiviral in the body. It's important for suppressing bacterial infections. So, but cytochrome C oxidase contains copper. So we need copper to support energy production in the body. Very important. Something else that we'll see at the very beginning of the electron transport chain is NADH and NAD. These are niacin compounds. Now, niacin, of course, is a B vitamin. And one of the things we know about niacin is that it's very important for the health of our cardiovascular system. But niacin also participates in the production of energy in the body. And right now, there is a, uh, many of you know, there's a tremendous amount of research going on on the use of NAD for reversing a part of the aging process. So if we can increase production of NAD, we can increase energy in the cell, and this will reverse part of the age of the body. Okay, so what we've learned about this is that our body is going to go through a multi-stage process for making ATP, and part of this depends on cytochrome C oxidase. Why are we focusing in on this one chemical? Well, let's take a look at it. Here is, by the way, a clinical study on mitochondrial copper me metabolism and cytochrome C oxidase. And we can skip down here and uh, we can see the importance of cytochrome C oxidase uh, in the electron transport chain. Okay. I uh, want to skip ahead to, this will give you just another look at it. I'm going to skip ahead to another study, which is getting to the point. And that is that low levels of light have been found to increase production of cytochrome C oxidase and in turn increase production of ATP. So there you go. This is the link that holds everything together. The patches stimulate the skin with light. As the patches stimulate the skin with light, they increase production of cytochrome C oxidase. This increases ATP, which is represented as an improvement in overall mitochondrial energy. And this leads to improvements in athletic performance, the flow of energy through the body, better tissue conductivity, better heart rate variability, better flow of energy through the meridians. Now we have completed the story arc. So this is a uh, very good article showing how we can use light to increase the energy in the mitochondria. And LifeWave patches just happen to do it extremely well because we can just apply the patches to the body and we do not need any type of external power source. 
Okay, so what are some other things that would be important about this? Since we've been going back in time today, uh, let's talk about Dr. Harry Whelan. Very interesting fellow because he came out of the Department of the Navy, and then later on, he went to work for NASA. Now, uh, many of you may remember that back 20 years ago, uh, phototherapy and light therapy in the public domain was considered to be quackery. Yet, the United States government, through uh, DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, was investing millions of dollars in funding Dr. Harry Whelan to look at how light therapy could be used to increase tissue repair. And Dr. Whelan is still doing that research today. So fortunately, this information made it out of the military and made it into the public domain. And now photobiomodulation, phototherapy, light therapy is a well-established science. And we can use this information today to improve our health. So Dr. Whelan's uh, work was very foundational uh, in establishing the credibility of light therapy. Now, another thing uh, that's worth asking is if we can increase ATP production, uh, and we know that a decrease in ATP is associated with aging. So by around the age 50 or so, people start to experience mitochondrial dysfunction, a decline in ATP. And when our energy reserves run low, we can't heal as quickly. We can't make new proteins as quickly. We can't make hormones. We can't recover as quickly after exercise. Uh, we get fatigued in the afternoon. All of these things are a result of a decline in ATP. Now, LifeWave has general wellness products, and so we don't make any medical claims. Uh, so any of the claims that we're going to talk about now are with active electronic low-level light therapy devices like lamps and lasers. So you can pull up a uh, study like this and you can see how low-level light therapy is being used. Now, I think what I want to do is skip ahead and get right to the punchline because it will grab your attention. This was a surgery-free facelift using low-level light therapy. And you can see it here, 20 minutes a day for 12 weeks. Um, you can go into clinics today and you will see with, uh, many dermatologists, uh, medical doctors that perform cosmetic surgeries, they will have, uh, very expensive light therapy devices that you put your entire face into. And, uh, you have to go there for, uh, regular treatments, uh, over a period of months, but the results can speak for themselves. Of course, you can do this much less expensively uh, with our LifeWave patches. Uh, of course, we have Olivita and X39 and so forth. And not only that, our products are improving the health of the body from the inside out. But this is simply to demonstrate that light therapy should not be underestimated. It is extraordinarily powerful. So, uh, Jeff, this is to give us a little bit of basis for the very foundation of LifeWave Tech. And uh, this is one of the reasons why people should be using the Energy Enhancer patches with X39, even though it was still our first product, 
uh, it still has some extraordinary benefits, shouldn't be underestimated. Are there some particular, just for a second, are there any particular use case scenarios where it's it's most beneficial to use it, like when exercising or doing some physical activity, or is it just in general? So I would say it this way. Uh, first, for people that engage in athletic activity, they're really going to see a benefit with the energy patches. Uh, but it's important to understand that as people age, um, the, the, the systems in the body, the communication systems begin to break down. So if you can use a technology to improve the flow of energy through the body, you're going to be improving the communications and you're going to be uh, improving the way in which people age. So this, on the one hand, is uh, definitely has short-term athletic benefits, but in the long term, uh, definitely has benefits relative to how people age. Very good. Well, very, very good. Well, David, did you want to jump into some questions and answers at this point, or do you have a few more things to talk about? Uh, no, absolutely. I wanted to leave a little bit more time okay. uh, today so we could get, it's been a while. Uh, because of the holidays, so let's get right into Q&A. Okay, so uh, as you know, there's a Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. If any of you have questions for for David, go ahead and feel free to put them in there, and we'll start out with a few that have come in since you've been talking, David. So a couple of things. Uh, the first one, we'll stick with the energy enhancer theme. So you often mentioned wearing two sets of energy enhancer. When should one wear two sets instead of one, and does two sets burn more fat or allow more energy? What we found in our uh, studies using indirect calorimetry was that just using one set of energy patches could increase calorie burning by over 300 calories a day. So this is why when some people use the energy patches, uh, they experience a reduction in body fat, reduction in body weight. The energy patches are very similar to ice weight uh, in terms of how they work. And there's some pretty fair comparisons there. With ice wave, generally you can get uh, all the benefits that you want from one set. But when people have had chronic pain, uh, it makes sense to apply a set of ice wave on the lower torso, let's say on the bottom of the feet, and then another set on the upper torso. So I would approach the energy patches the same way. For day-to-day -day life, one set of energy patches is fine, but if someone were expecting to have a particularly long day, uh, they're gonna enter an athletic competition, that might be a time when they would wanna have two sets. Uh, so that might be a guideline, and of course, you know, people can uh, try it out and, and see how they like it. Very good. Well, lots more questions coming in on energy enhancers. I'm trying to kind of balance uh, the, the the ones here that would, would make the most sense in the flow of this. But um, you talked a little bit about the placement of energy enhancer already. So, so that makes sense. But the placement of energy enhancer with X39 and how would you wear those two together and uh, where would you place them? Yeah. So now the beauty of our technology is the simplicity with X39, you can put it virtually anywhere on the body and you're going to get results. So behind the neck, below the belly button is where we use it in our clinical studies. Uh, but you can apply it virtually anywhere. The power of the energy patches is that you have a white one and a tan one. The white is positive, the tan is negative. So it's designed to work with the... Uh, flow of bioelectrical energy in the body. So you could say that the uh, right side of the body is positive, the left side is negative. That's very simplistic, but that's one way to look at it. So uh, let's say that um, you wanted to build up the energy in the body. You could apply the, the energy patches on the wrists. That's where I have them today. That's called the, uh, in acupuncture, we'd call that the pericardium. 
So let's say I was exercising today. Uh, I applied them on the wrist. Um, let's say that you wanted to uh, relax a little bit more or uh, you wanted to really be thinking more of health and long life. You might apply them on the bottom of the feet and those are the kidney points, which in acupuncture is the water meridian. Don't want to get into acupuncture training too much here, but this is just all to say that in our instructions, we give a couple of different uh, points where you can uh, apply the patches, and this is meant to stimulate the flow of energy in a little bit different way. So the next question is kind of a two-part. Uh, you know, one, They want you to talk a little bit about your experience with the Navy SEALs and the development of the technology of energy enhancer as it, it relates to that. And then the second part of that is then if it was designed to help keep um, you know, SEALs awake, is there any issue with sleep when it comes to wearing energy enhancer that you found? Yeah, I mean, certainly for some people there are. We don't recommend generally that you wear the energy patches at night. That kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, that was uh, an extraordinary time in my life. Um, the Being in the defense industry and uh, having the privilege to work with some uh, U.S. military contractors like General Dynamics, Newport News Shipbuilding, was an extraordinary experience. Uh, I would say that, um, you know, we're, we live in very, very strange times today. And um, the I, I would be the first one to say I would rather have peace uh, than war or, or the threats of war. And uh, I hope, you know, we're at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're all created by the same God. And uh, we should live in peace and harmony and love one another. Um, and um, it's a little bit of a sad commentary that uh, governments need to design and stockpile weapons to defend their nations, that humanity has not been able to grow past that. Uh, but that's that's the way the world is today. So um, back in the uh, mid to late 90s, uh, I had a company, a small company with a group of guys in uh, Georgia. And uh, what we were doing was developing uh, new methods of power generation uh, for submarines. And this was all for emergency use. So I had under quite a few inventions that I had developed, and I got invited to be part of a design team for a mini sub. So this was going to be a next generation technology, and the mini sub actually attached to the primary sub. In those days, it was the uh, uh, USS Virginia. And um, I, when I was invited into this project, um, I, I was ba it was very unusual because I had invented something that wasn't supposed to exist. And uh, so the fellow that was running the project said, look, you know, I'm really impressed with what you did with this project. Just take a look at what we're doing and, and see, you know, where you might want to make a contribution. And uh, so I took a look at the program and I thought, well, uh, the crew of this sub are Navy SEALs. They're going on these really long missions and uh, they, they could have to stay awake for 30 or 60 hours. And they're going to have to take ca caffeine, uh, amphetamines to stay awake. And uh, there's something about this that I really don't like. So maybe we could find a way to keep them awake, give them more energy without having them to take drugs. So I started working on that concept. I came up with the energy patches and uh, right at the same time, almost the same time, 9-11 started. So uh, for me personally, one of the, uh, and now the rest of the lightweight community, 9-11 was a uh, tragic, tragic event. But if that had never happened, I would have just stayed uh, developing products for uh, the military and uh, never gotten out into the public. But that event um, forced me to uh, find a way to market 
the patches other than through the military. And of course, the rest, as they say, is history. Um, there's a quite a few questions, David, regarding the relationship between X39 and Energy Enhancer versus X39 and X49. Is there any comments that you have on you know what combination you would recommend when and in what scenarios? Yeah, so X39 should be the first product that people use because the benefits are so broad. When we use X39, it's going to um, help support the overall health and vitality of the cells in the body. Uh, what we found uh, through our research is that when X39 stimulates the skin with light, it leads to an extraordinary number of benefits. It's improving metabolism, improving energy, improving energy flow, helping with recovery, uh, helping to support antioxidant levels in the body. So many people will find uh, that just using X39 gives them the benefits that they want. Uh, but many people will also want to go further than that. So people that are uh, athletes, uh, they need that extra boost of energy. I'd say try that with Energy Enhancer. Uh, people that are suffering in pain may want to try the combination of X39 with Eon or X39 with Ice Wave. Uh, but X39 should be the base product. Okay, uh, this one, uh, are energy enhancers the best patch for cold feet and enhancing circulation? Uh, also, what's the preferred method of, uh, you know, kind of carrying your patches? For you personally, what are your methods of carrying your patches on the go? Uh, well, uh, I keep my patches separate from me. So when I'm traveling on a plane, I'll keep uh, the patches in my carry-on bag because God forbid... Uh, my suitcase gets lost. I still have my patches with me. Uh, so that's pretty standard for me. Um, but in terms of the question on cold feet, I suppose it would depend on why the person has cold feet. Is is this a uh, is this something like Raynaud's where they have a predisposition to poor circulation? Um, is it... Uh, is it neuropathy uh, induced, you know, some type of cardiovascular disease? So it it's a little bit too broad. It would de be dependent on what's uh, the cause. I, you know, in general, um, I had done a product training in October uh, at our October convention um, and, you know, talking about the health of the cardiovascular system and, of course, uh, I covered a tremendous amount of information there. But so I, well, I think what I'll just say is, look, if somebody has poor circulation, the good news, and it's uh, related to cardiovascular disease, the good news is that there are a tremendous number of natural things that people can do to reduce their blood pressure, reduce their risk of getting a heart attack or stroke, and they do it all without surgery. So go back and look at some of the other things that we've done. Um, and uh, we may be talking more about that in the future as well. Very good. I can barely keep up. I, 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 the questions are flying in today. This is a, this is great. <laughs> uh, switching gears just, well, actually, let's start the, here. So someone says, I'd like to ask you, if you keep the patch worn for more than the 12 to 14 hours, the expected time for optimal use, could it happen that the patch... Um, doesn't work as well, or does it lose effectiveness? And can you explain why it's kind of on for 12, off for 12? Yeah, the reason we found this originally with the energy enhancer research, and that was, um, it is a phenomena called attenuation, uh, or it's an adaptive response. Uh, the way that people know this is, uh, for those people that drink coffee. Now, I know you're not a coffee drinker, uh, but for people that drink coffee, they'll know if they have a cup, they get revved up on caffeine, but then if they drink it every day, eventually they stop responding and they need more and more caffeine to wake them up. So that's a attenuation or adaptive response from the body. 
The same is true with light therapy. It's very well known today now in light therapy that if you continue to stimulate the body with light without a break, eventually the body stops responding. So we found that with the patches, that if people were to use them for 12 hours, then take a break, then start again, the body would not adapt or attenuate to the patches that you could still wear the patches daily and still get an effect. So if people, uh, if somebody were to uh, leave the patches on overnight by mistake, uh, just remove it in the morning, take a day off, and then restart again the next day. Very good. Okay, shifting gears just a little bit, there's quite a bit. You'd mentioned a little bit about copper, but there's a lot of um, a lot of questions around copper. So what form of copper should people be taking? How much copper? What brand of copper? How does that work to help um, you know to help in, in coordination with the patches? So can you speak a little bit about that? Well, first, you know, we could look at the diet and uh, a dietary form of copper is in liver. And what's so interesting is that out in the wild, uh, wolves, for example, the alpha male will uh, eat the liver first. Uh, so that, and it's not only just because of the copper, there's other growth factors in the liver uh, that the alpha male wants to get to. Uh, but liver is, is a dietary source of copper. Chocolate is a dietary source of copper. Wheatgrass is another source. So first, you know, somebody could look at their diet and say, well, you know, am I getting enough copper out of the diet? Um, I would say that because copper is so important to our overall health that most people should supplement and uh, because it's very, very inexpensive. The uh, preferred form of copper is copper glycinate, and it only requires a small amount. Either two milligrams, two and a half milligrams per day is going to be safe for most people. Um, in clinical studies, it's shown you could take up to 10 milligrams per day without any problem. So when you consider that uh, copper has all of these enormous benefits, it's so inexpensive, everyone should be taking it. So uh, this actually, it, it's a little bit connected to this. Uh, this individual says they're new, you know, to, to LifeWave and to this world. And what they they wanted to know was, you know, do the, the patches benefits uh, vary from one individual to another? And I think you've talked a little bit about this on this call, but I guess the, the follow-up to that is, is are there things you can do to help make the patches more effective? Are there supplements you should be taking? Is there you know, the hydration element, all that. So how do you have the best experience, I guess, with the patches? Um, what combinations would you recommend? Well, funny you should ask, because that is going to be a big topic that I am going to be covering at Vision. So for people that want to learn the answer that, to that question in, uh, <laughs> in extreme detail, uh, then th they're going to get uh, their heart's desire fulfilled because I will be covering that in great detail uh, at Vision. But he here's a few different ways that we can look at this. Let someone, let's say that you have someone that's a health advocate and uh, they're a vegan or a vegetarian. Uh, they're not going to be getting any beta alanine in their diet. They're not going to be getting any NAC or creatine. And these nutrients are critical for making glutathione, making carnosine, supporting the health of the brain, the heart, the muscle. So uh, by supplementing with these nutrients, not only can uh, those people support their overall health, but they're going to get better results with the patches as well. Um, when you have someone that it maybe is uh, over the age of 50 or over the age of 60. Um, the metabolism starts to slow down. The cells begin to shrink. And the ability of the cells to process nutrition declines. So um, again, uh, the nutritional needs go up with age. And uh, hence the need for supplementation. So all of these things are going to be discussed at Vision. 
We're going to get into it in uh, great detail. But uh, the bottom line is that, yes, you can uh, supplement um, and do it efficiently where it's not uh, incredibly expensive and uh, help support the activity of the patches and uh, and get the most benefits. You know, one, one very quick example is beta alanine. So beta alanine will support the production of carnosine and support the production of the AHKC. So it supports X49. Now, in animal studies, it's been shown that you can increase the lifespan of mammals by 30 to 40% with carnosine and that those mammals don't age in the process. Plus, we found with our carnosine patch, it improves athletic performance, improves strength, stamina, flexibility, and it improves cognition and even reverses age-related cognitive decline. So, uh, interestingly enough, new research is also showing that beta alanine through increasing carnosine improves the stem cell activity in the body. Wow. Probably not surprising. So this is all to say that there are some key nutrients that people should be taking that will make a dramatic difference in their health. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we're uh, this this one is a question from from me. So David, as we approach the twenty years, we're celebrating twenty years this year. Um, you know, you look back and there is just a tremendous amount that has been achieved uh, in LifeWave's history, uh, the product launches and everything else. And I know I might be asking you like to pick your favorite child, but um, is there any particular patch that you developed uh, that meant something special to you? Or was there any particular patch that really resonates with you in your you know, history of inventing them? Well, I mean, first of all, um, Energy Enhancer is always going to hold a special place in my heart because it was the first. And without Energy Enhancer, there would be no life wave. We wouldn't have had a start with it. And uh, those very early formative years um, were really incredible. Uh, the uh, I'm so grateful for all of the leaders that came in, uh, people like David Jumper and Chuck Michael, uh, Roy Sergiono, those early leaders, Jim Loretto, that came into the company to help build the business. Uh, they just did such a phenomenal job. All of the uh, people like Richard Quick that I got to meet uh, along the way, some of the incredible athletes that came in. Um, it, it was, uh, you know, truly an extraordinary journey to be a part of. And that started because of Energy Enhancer. Um, each one of the patches um, has its own unique development story and there's enjoyment in each one. Um, X39, of course, because it's taken us from a small company to now a big company, um, it is also going to hold a very, very special place in my heart. And, uh, the development story about X39, you know, it's, I have inventions that it's taken me 40 years uh, to develop and then, you know, some other things not quite so long. Um, X39 was a 10 year journey yeah. and uh, we spent over $4 million and accumulated, you know, over 80 patents on uh, stem cells and regenerative medicine to get to the point where we could make X39. So that what we got to work with some of the top stem cell scientists in the world. We got to work at uh, the Regenerative Medicine Institute in Ireland. And uh, of course, today, people's lives have been transformed because of X39. Uh, so those two products that, that we're featuring today, both of them have played an incredible role in the history of LifeWave. Very good. Well, maybe one more question and then and then we'll give you some time to kind of close out here. But um, there has been uh, a lot of questions in the chat for this on, and I think it's the theme of January and getting into the, the goals of 
you know, trying to, to, to become healthier, but around fat burning. And do you have any right. recommendations on, you know, the best way to, to burn fat? What combinations of either supplements or patches or, you know, uh, those types of things would, would be best in your research and opinion? Well, you know, uh, this has been the subject of uh, other webinars that we've done, and uh, it's a long subject. So because we only have a little bit of time, I think the, the first thing that I would say is for people that um, have not exercised in a while, aren't eating right, uh, it is very important to have a plan. Uh, because without a plan, you're going to fail because you're not going to have a guide to follow. Uh, it's also very important to start off slow and think of the big picture. Uh, don't think about, you know, where you want to be in a week or two weeks. That's unrealistic. Much, much better to think about where do you want to be in three months or six months. Uh, shoot for a target like that, because then you only have to be improving a little bit at a time. Um, with exercise, um, you don't have to really do a lot to get back in shape. Uh, we don't have time, of course, to get into all the details, but I would say is start with uh, something very simple, about 10 minutes of exercise, four days a week. Uh, look at doing uh, something called a Tabata, which is four minutes of exercise. Um, and one thing that I like to do in my routine uh, when I get up in the morning, I'll take 10 to 15 minutes and I'll do a uh, Tabata uh, to get my heart rate going. And then I do a maximum number of air squats. And then I do a maximum number of push-ups. And I find that when I'm very busy, if I can't get into the weight room at night, uh, I can still be making progress just by doing things like squats and push-ups to failure. It's very important to go to failure. But what's good about this is that it's brief, it's intense, uh, and it is not going to um, overstress someone that's just getting started. Um, I have long been a supporter of the intermittent fasting, especially for men. With women, it's much more challenging, uh, but restricting the hours that you eat to an eight hour or even a six hour window um, is enormously beneficial. Uh, so what I'd say is, you know, we don't have the time to get into this really in detail, but the important thing is for people to have a plan, write the plan down, and then follow it and think about very, very small baby steps over a long period of time. I think that's fantastic. All right. Well, uh, as it, time always flies and we even left more time for questions today, but um, the, the chat is buzzing. There, there is so much more, um, but unfortunately, we're down to the last couple of minutes here. Um, so the question that I have uh, in conclusion here, Dave, is there anything else that you want to share with our community as we close this out? Yeah, I think what I'd say, Jeff, is that this is going to be an absolutely uh, phenomenal year as we celebrate 20 years. Uh, this year is going to be full of very, very happy surprises. Uh, one of the things that we did at convention in October is we unveiled our 20th anniversary brandy. Uh, this is, uh, I discovered a new way to distill alcohol with light. So this is a light infused brandy and our SPDs and PDs are going to be getting this as a gift, uh, just as a way of saying thank you for helping LifeWave. And um, then we, of course, unveiled our 20th anniversary chocolates, which were light-infused chocolates that we gave as gifts to our SPDs this Christmas. Um, those were just to hint at some of the things that are going to be coming during the year. We've already talked about that there is a product launch coming up. Uh, there's something very big that's going to be happening later on in the year. We have our 20th anniversary cruise. 
And of course, this all culminates in our 20th anniversary conference in October, uh, where we've already begun the planning on that, and it's incredible. I'll also say that there is a project uh, that I'm working on that is absolutely massive. It's going to come as a shock to everyone when we unveil it in a good way. And uh, it's it's going to be an enormous surprise that's going to usher in a new generation of LightWave. So with all that, um, I want to thank our brand partners for being the most important part of our business uh, because it, it's a privilege uh, for me to be able to invent and to uh, have a company where there's so many amazing people around the world reaching out and helping those in need. So I, I want to thank our brand partners for everything that they're doing to improving the uh, quality of life for others around the world. Thank you so much. All right, well, David, as always, thank you for sharing your insights with us and, and your knowledge and your expertise. Thank you everyone for joining us and we will see you again next month. Bye-bye.